While many learners across the country have reported to school for term one, students of Kayundi Secondary School in Kalagala Sub County Rural District were today caught up in a standoff between the school management and the landowner where the school was constructed. To quell the morning standoff, the school management team, local leaders, and the landlord and his team held a meeting. However, the meeting yielded no result. The learners were seen outside the empty classes. The school has existed since 1982, according to residents. The four acres of land on which it was built were donated to the community by the late David Sumogirele. Back then, students in the area trekked long distances to access secondary education. However, in September last year, a one Casalina Navuga showed up and claimed the land on Block 10, Prot 116, belonging to her, having acquired the land title in May 2019. People claiming to be owners are posing a lot of threats that they are going to evict the school because it belongs to them. Navuga, a sister to Semogerere, is contesting ownership through Alex Kaiwan Kampan Advocates and wants the school to vacate her land immediately. The, the former owner of this land was Mozani, who died in 1949, leaving uh, the, now the current owner, Navuga Kasarin, as a child of eight years. I think by succession, she got land which she, she never knew until recently, in 2019, when she got the title. Luero District Chairperson Erasto Chibirango, the woman MP Brenda Nabukenya and Ibamunanika County MP Robert Sechitoleko have called an emergency meeting on the issue, which has stunned acrimonious. <laughs> the political leaders say much as Navuga could be the rightful owner of the land, she has no authority to evict the school. So we have resolved that these are bona fide occupants, even if we are to go to, to court. And she's the, the registered proprietor. So that relationship, the, the landlord, tenant relationship, should exist. So we have advised that it is in, they, they should talk in terms of seeing how she would relate well with the, her tenants. David Sebiala, the head teacher, says that development has left them restless. Our services to our learners and the community are not going to be smooth. So that is going to really affect us, and we need the intervention of the government officials such that Kayindo SS remains serving the people of the area. Habat Kamaga, NTV.